I'm going to be building this Anakin lightsaber for a customer. Let's go over the parts and tools that I'll be using. First up, we've got the hilt. I got this from Corbanth. It's the ROTS Flex V2. Then we have the chassis. This is what's going to be holding all the electronics inside. I designed and 3D printed this one myself. I had to update my previous design because it was for Profi, and this lightsaber uses a crystal focus. Next, we have a 28mm bass speaker and a Bluetooth module, and then I'm using these momentary tactile buttons, along with an 18650 lithium-ion battery, and I'm trying to put in this OLED screen. Finally, to wrap up the rest of the parts, we have the battery tabs and the NeoPixel connector. And now onto the wires I use. I use 22, 24, 30, and 28 gauge PTFE wire. To solder, I always use a brass wool tip cleaner, which seems to keep my $10 soldering iron alive. And to help hold on to things, I have helping hands and a hoppy vise. Here are some other things you'll need, a pack of heat shrink, and some E6000, and finally you'll need an assortment of tools, wire snips, wire strippers, and you'll definitely need some tweezers and pliers. With all that out of the way, it's time to get to building this thing. So I have built this lightsaber once before for a customer, but it was with a profi. But this customer wanted a crystal focus install, and wanted to see if I could fit in an OLED display. So I went in and redesigned my old chassis. And the first thing we're going to set up for it is the NeoPixel connector. After we get all the pins soldered in place, we can add the wires. So what I have set up here is one data line, two negative wires, and one blade detection wire. Now I guess I'll add some wires to the Bluetooth module. For those of you who don't know, a Bluetooth module paired with a Crystal Focus soundboard allows you to control and edit your saber wirelessly, which means you pretty much never have to have access to the board itself, which will be pretty useful with the way that the chassis is designed for this lightsaber. And now with this part out of the way, we can move on to the battery tabs and the speaker. So we'll start with the negative tab. With the negative tab wired, we move on to the positive. With both battery tabs set up, we can now move on to the speaker. This is a 28mm bass speaker. Here you'll see me adding some solder to the speaker prongs, it just makes it easier for me to solder the wires after. And with all that done, we just snap it in place and then glue it in with some E6000 later. But now that we have the speaker and battery tabs done, we can put in the NeoPixel connector and connect it to the positive wire. After that was done, I just took some time to sand the NeoPixel connector and fit it in the holder. Now we have four components in the chassis, the speaker, NeoPixel connector, and the two battery tabs. Up next, we're going to be setting up the OLED display. All four wires have been attached. Let's put it into the chassis now. I was worried that the wires underneath would make the screen poke out, but it fits perfectly. Now I'm just going to slide the Bluetooth module we wired up earlier into place. With that done, we only have two parts left, the auxiliary and activation switch. And that is a lot of wires, but we're now ready for the soundboard. For this build, my customer wanted me to install a crystal focus, which means it's going to be a little trickier to wire up, but hey, I do this all the time. And that is the last wire on the soundboard. Or at least I thought so until I realized I didn't wire in the buttons, so let's do that real quick. Now that the buttons are properly set up, we have everything in place to get this started. So let's see if it works. It made a sound and the display is on, so that's a good sign. Let's see if the aux button works by scrolling through the screens. Looks good. Oh, and it looks like the NeoPixels work. And does the power button work? Sweet, now it's time to try the smooth swing and some clashes. Now that we know it all works, it's time to try it in the hilt. Looks like the buttons are lined up correctly. The speaker works well. And nothing rattles around. One thing I really like about this hilt is the red button on the emitter acts as the retention screw for the blade, so there's no need to carry around an allen key or any extra tools. And now, for the moment of truth. This resistance. I love it when things work first try. Now we just gotta test the Bluetooth. 
Everything officially works with this lightsaber, so we can call this project complete. But before we end off the video, I want to show off some of the sound fonts and blade profiles I have set up on here. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hope you all enjoyed the video. See you next time.